guys, Jess here, and I'm doing another video. I know that it looks kind of vlog style because <laughs> it's on my phone, but actually it's an advice video, and I'm gonna start doing these every week. I've already done next week's, and Sean and I are already working on the one that's happening the week after next. So next week's is called Things You Might Be Doing That Might Be Working Against You, and it's more of like a fun one, but it's helpful too. And then the following week, Sean and I are doing one uh, about dating and it's called be more fun to date and it's directed to girls from Sean and I and uh, you're gonna like his perspective on it so it'll be fun today though I want to talk about wasted potential and specifically about uh, having a dream and not doing it so we could just call this video you have a dream but you're not doing it and I want to talk about why that happens and encourage you guys to just do them I feel like this is a good startup video because I'm actually having to live it out in doing these videos and so I just wanted to talk to you about that so I'm gonna first clarify what I mean by a dream. Uh, we could also call it a great idea. It's something that is good for you and good for the people around you. I see it like a gift from God that he's given you that you can now give away to make the world better. So that's what we're talking about. That could be something like personal health, just you getting healthy so that you can feel better and so that your family can thrive. Or it could be something bigger than that, like starting a company or um, like a friend of mine recently, her, her dream is to have influence on social media with Instagram and her blog and all of that. And that I believe is a dream from God. That's She can do it, she's great at it, she's an amazing photographer. I should actually attach her her name to this so that you can see who it is but um but so that's the kind of thing I'm talking about okay so why then if we have these dreams and these great ideas why aren't we doing them I have a few reasons so I want you first to just kind of think about what's the great idea the thing in your heart that you've thought for a while this would be so cool if I could just do this my heart would come alive it would be so fun I'd be good at it that kind of thing so whatever that dream is okay now I'm talking about why you're not doing it my my suspicions on that the first one for me this is something i struggle with a lot it's perfectionism it's this thing of you don't want to get started until you can guarantee it's going to be perfect and uh that's really hard to guarantee so you just end up not starting or you try and it just flops and doesn't turn out the way you want it and because it's not perfect you don't do it okay that's one of the things that i see us struggling with that keeps us from pursuing our dream the other one is fear of failure. It's a lot more comfortable to not try and then not fail <laughs> than it is to try something you really care about and pursue this thing you believe in and have it not work out. So fear of failure keeps us from doing it. Um, ah, Fear of what people will think. That's something I struggle with. It's kind of like, well, what if you try this thing and even if it goes well, what if people think it's silly or selfish or dumb or whatever? Uh, fear of what people think stops us and sometimes just plain discouragement. Maybe somebody has spoken negatively about your dream. Uh, that happens. You share with someone you're super excited. This is the thing you want to do. And then they come back and they're like, meh, that's just an okay idea or whatever discouragement and the last thing is sometimes you just feel stuck like you've maybe had a dream that you've pursued in the past and it hasn't worked or a lot of things in your life have gone badly and so now you feel like you can't even dream anymore um, that's real I see that happen a lot so those are some things you might struggle with some of those I am struggling with some of those things and uh, we're gonna overcome them together so how can we overcome them you might be asking great question here's some steps they're really good steps so pay attention First step is clarify the dream. Okay, there is a mosquito in here and I want it to die. Ah, one second. Ah, I got it. Okay, I've been trying to kill that all day. Uh, <laughs> that was my dream lived out. You got to see, okay. First, ha, huh, step one, clarify the dream. So that looks like Figuring out exactly what the dream is, I know, sounds really huge. Uh, okay, <laughs> like, here's a good example. I have a great friend. She wanted to get healthy this year. So for her, in order to be motivated to get healthy, she needed to set a specific goal. Her goal is to compete in a bikini contest. So that's motivating her now to eat well, to go to the gym, to not drink. You know, it's doing all of it. So for me, I have a goal right now. This dream is to write a book. That's a great dream. That's my goal. I um, am working on it. We'll see how it goes. You might have a dream to start a company or to, 
I don't know, go to school. Okay, so figure out what your dream is. Next step, number two, is figure out what are the steps that it takes to do that dream. So like for me, I don't actually know all of the steps that it takes to write a book, but I do know that the first thing I need to do is just write. I know that my words need to become pages, which become chapters, and then eventually I've got a book, and then I'll figure out what to do next. I might even be able to figure it out along the way, but I haven't yet. For you, what is a dream and what do you need to do? Okay, three, step three is to start small. So once you've got the dream, and you've got the steps, then you need to start doing something about it. And this doesn't need to be huge. Sometimes we uh, put it off because we feel like we can't do anything to move towards this dream. No, just do anything. For me, with this writing thing, I challenge myself to sit down and just write anything, write something. <laughs> and uh, if you start small, you'll start to see that momentum builds and it gets easier, which brings me to my next point, point number four, celebrate small successes. So this is important because it'll get really easy to focus on everything you haven't done to accomplish the dream. And that is really discouraging. And you can, you can actually miss out on the joy of everything you've accomplished and how far you've come um, by keeping your eyes set on everything you haven't done. So I want you to celebrate your small accomplishments. You could like literally go for ice cream. I love that, that's fun. Uh, or you could just choose in your heart to see things differently where you are viewing the stuff that's good. Sometimes I have to do that even just in a day where uh, if I can start to feel myself getting discouraged that I haven't done enough or I wanted to accomplish more, I have to be like, nope, Jess, come on, think about all the stuff you did do. And uh, sometimes it's easier than other days. Okay, fifth step. What is the fifth step? Ah! <laughs> it is to persevere and keep going. So that's an important step to tell you because sometimes you're gonna wanna quit. You're gonna get distracted. You're gonna feel like you're not actually doing anything. People are gonna say really hateful things and then you're not gonna wanna continue. Nope, we're gonna decide right now to persevere. If you are like my friend who's in a bikini contest, sometimes you're gonna wanna quit just cause it's stinking hard and you're really gonna want ice cream. And if you're in a bikini contest, you probably can't have ice cream, you should eat a carrot or some oatmeal with cinnamon and so you need to persevere and have that mentality that we're gonna keep going and keep pursuing this dream because we know it's important and we know that it's from God and we know that it is something that has been put inside of us to make the world way better so all of that to say welcome to my first video thanks for watching I'm excited to see you next week it is going to be great and the ones after awesome. If you guys have any questions that you want me to answer in these advice videos or topics that you want me to talk about, please comment down below. Um, like my videos. There's a little thumbs up. You can click it. Um, subscribe to the channel. Follow my blog. Find me on Instagram. Whatever you want. I'd love to be connected with you and I hope that you have a really great week. I'll see you soon. Bye.